Okay guys, so if you're new here, then welcome to my channel, or if you're back again, then uh, welcome back. And yeah, the Discord link is on the top of the screen and in the description down below. And don't forget to drop a like or a subscribe if you enjoy this video. And let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel guys. Now if you found your way to this video, you probably want to know how you or anyone that joins your server can change the colour of their name in the chat. Um, you're in the right place. Um, let's get straight into this video and show you how to do it. Right, first off, load up a browser. And in Google search, type in UMOD coloured names. And then the second one down is coloured chat by Collect Vood in UMOD. So we click on that. You know you're in the right one. Um, it says it's by Collect Vood and the logo is two speech bubbles with a little bit of a coloured background. And there we go. So what I want to do is download that. There you go, that's download now, colorchat.cs. So that'll be in my download folder. So I'm done with that now. So what we want to do now is load up my server, which is already open. So I'm just going to close that and open it. And to do that, I need to go to my C drive. This is where my is. So I go into my C drive. Then I go to my Rust server folder. And then I run my run DS batch file. Run that. Now that the server has loaded up, um, what we'll do is we'll quickly just minimize that and that. And we'll quickly load up Rust. Okay, now Rust is loaded. We'll log into the server. So my server's called Adder's Server. So there we are, add a server, so I'll join that. Quickly let that load up. Okay, now that we are in the server. Okay, so what we wanna do first is we need to copy the downloaded mod into the Oxide plugins folder, and then we just need to do a few permissions and then we can change our colored names. So what we want to do is navigate to the file that we just downloaded. So for me, that's in my downloads folder, and there it is, coloredchat.cs file. So I'm going to right click on that and click copy. Then I'm gonna to navigate to my Oxide plugins folder. So for me, that's in my C drive, and it's under Rust server folder, Rust DS folder, Oxide folder, and then the plugins folder. So what I'm gonna do is paste that in here right click paste and there we go colored chat is now pasted in there so if I just load up my server it says here now colored chat was compiled successfully and loaded plugin colored chat by collectwood so now I know that the server has the mod on it so I can minimize these two and then we would need to do the permissions so if we go back to the browser um, and scroll down a little bit. So this is obviously where we downloaded the mod. We scroll down and there are two um, different permissions that we need to enable. Um, so these basically, I think one basically lets you change the color of your name and one lets the colored name show in the message, in the chat. So we need to do both of them. So it's up to you whether you want to enable just your admins to do it or just you to do it or everyone. So I'll show you how to do that. So what we can do is we can just highlight this one, copy it, and we could just paste it straight into the um, console. So we go back into this, press F1, go up to console in the top left hand corner and then hold control and press V. That pastes that code. I could press enter now and what that will do is that will enable this permission for the group default. Now group default is everyone. So if I press enter now, it's gonna enable everyone to have this permission. But what we could do is we could change default to the word admin. So if we change that to admin, like so, and hit enter now, that is gonna give that permission of coloredchat.name.show to just the uh, owner and the moderators. Um, I could also do it a different way. I could check, do it by user. So I could type, rather than group, put user, and then space, and I could put adder, like so. But most people want everyone to able to change their name color. So let's go back and do it the way it was. So group and default, and I'll just press enter. 
and there we go so that is now done for that group default that permission has been done so what we want to do next is we want to do that other permission so we alt tab back to our browser and highlight the next one copy that go back into rust console hold control and press v there we go and press enter like so then what we can do is we can go back into chat and we can type forward slash colors and it gives you a quick list of all the things that you can do so for example if you do forward slash color and then put in a hex code you can change your name to that color um, you can do color random so it will generate a random color for you um, let's just see what happens if we do that uh, color random click enter there you are it's added me as a purple color so I type something like a pinky there you go, which is kind of cool. Um, also, there's gradient, so you could do a two color gradient or a three color. I don't know how many colors you can go up to, whether you can do four or five, I don't know. Um, um, you can also set player ID or name. All right, so I think the admins can actually do other people's colors. I didn't actually know that. I've just found that out as I've been doing this. So there you go, I never even knew I could do that and you can do group names as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna set mine to, I think I know one, so if I go forward slash color and then hashtag, I think it's 00FF00. There we are, there's my green color, so I just type something, boom, and there we are, my name is that color. So all you need to do, if you find the color that you want, or just, just Google whatever color it is. So say for example you wanted red, just go to Google and type red hex code. There'll be loads of different types of reds, just pick which one you want. Get that um, hashtag hex code. Um, it's normally a mixture between um, numbers and letters. Just tap that in like I have there. And there you go guys. Um, you and anyone that joins this server can change the color of your name. Um, hope you enjoy. If this has helped you, don't forget to drop a like on it for me. It will help other people see it if you do. And if you want to see more tutorials or if you want to watch some of my other videos like base designs or trap based videos or just general wipes, um, yeah, subscribe and yeah, um, I'll catch you guys later.